Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Where To Next on May 22nd, 2024, uh, here in beautiful Belize. As you can see behind me, it's another hot sunny day. It's supposed to be about 100 degrees again today, so it feels like temperature will probably be 105 or 106. Um, always stay hydrated. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, investing in Belize. Those of you that possibly want to buy property in Belize, and this so much isn't targeted for people that want to buy lots of acres, like, you know, 10 acres, 50, 100, more than that, to where you would get a lesser price on buying a large amount. I'm trying to, through my own experience here, uh, give information on, you know, anything an acre and under. Uh, let's... Uh, Let's just start with quarter acres. So quarter acres here in Belize, um, you know, lots as they call them, is the fasting selling piece of property here in this country right now. Um, you know, even the developers, like I said, they're buying bigger pieces of land. They're breaking those lands down into quarter acre lots, half acre lots, and one acre lots. So what I've learned in my experience here two years in Belize is the price of land has gone up substantially. So if you want to invest, in my opinion, if you want to invest in the smaller pieces of land, this is the time that you want to do it. And I also want to say that I'm not as familiar with the land that is on the islands, on the Ks, or on the coast. Um, Secret Beach, Amber's K, K Calker, Punta Gorda, Placentia, Hopkins, Dangria, Belize City, anything that's on the water, um, from what I've seen here, is pretty much at a stalemate. Uh, the prices went up steadily the first year that we got here. I mean, from the time that we went on vacation and we're literally back here in less than two months, the prices on lots that were on the water or near the water doubled or tripled. Um, and in fact, most of those are now sold. And from what I've seen, if you're doing your research here, you're going to see a lot of them that are for sale now where people are trying to get out of it because... You know, it sounded good. It looked good where it was, uh, but it just wasn't a good deal. And I'm going to do another video about that, about buyer's remorse, about, you know, buying land that is on or near the water and why infrastructure is such a big deal, um, you know, in areas that you're buying land, especially swamp land. Uh, not to deter anybody from, you know, buying land here on the water, but you know, it's once again, it's something that you really got to do your research. So what I've noticed is that the inland properties are what is going through the roof right now. And once again, that's going to depend where it's at. If it's, you know, out in the middle of nowhere, uh, the prices have kind of remained the same. When we got here, when I started looking, you could get a quarter acre lot inland. Like I said, depending on where it was, from anywhere to five to ten thousand U.S. dollars is what the going rate was back in 2022. Um, here we are in 2024. Um, you know, just to give you an example, like uh, if you guys have been following the channel, what happened to us in the states is buying our house, the housing market, the value of our house doubled. Uh, actually, it did a little bit more than doubled, so we sold and we got out. Well, we bought our land here about a year ago, um, and since then, our land has doubled in price. Um, one of the main reasons is because of location. So, we're about 30 minutes outside of the capital of Belmapon, and we're off of the Hummingbird Highway, which is a really beautiful scenic highway. Uh, but, you know, once again, we are in an area that doesn't have any utilities. There's no water there's no electric to our property we are fully off grid here one day there will be utilities out here and i can only imagine what the price of land is going to be once there's utilities out here 
But the people that we bought our land from have since put a hold on selling any more of their land. If that gives you an indication, they're not selling any more of their land right now because even they watched the price of land go up. Um, so for us, it's a very good thing and it's an interesting thing that once again, somehow we put ourselves right back in the same situation without even trying to. Uh, like I said, the land that we bought here outside of Belmapon, when we bought it uh, in the last year, has doubled in price. And I'm not just talking about the one that has the house and, you know, the septic, the one that we developed. I'm talking about, you know, behind my back over here, these quarter acres that we bought because we have a total one acre combined so we bought four quarter acres which you know was a little bit pricey rather than just buying an acre but everything we looked at did not have the view that you see behind us uh most of the properties we were looking at didn't have any view and we didn't want to sacrifice uh on a front porch with no view that was the one thing that we decided that we did not want to sacrifice was having a front porch with no view so we bought an acre total we bought each lot individually so like I said, since we did that, the land has doubled in price, even on the bare land. Um, so there's no telling how much that the land prices are going to continue to keep going up. Now, one of the reasons why our land here went up so fast is because of our proximity to Belmapon. We're not that far outside of Belmapon. And I'm going to show you some video here of things that were not in Belmapon when we first arrived here in 2022, but all of the things that are under construction right now um, that you know we've been keeping an eye on because normally when you see a lot of construction going on, it's you know progress. It's there's population coming in, there's more money coming in, um, and anybody who knows anything about Belize, uh, seeing a two-story building go up. Is a big deal here in Belize. Uh, you know, you don't see a lot of two-story buildings, three-story buildings, or even four-story buildings. But I'm going to show all of that to you in this clip. So what I want you to keep in mind is um, when you're looking at these properties that are under construction right now and being developed, of course, that means that everything in the surrounding areas, the price on it is going to continue to go up which it has. We saw an acre of land that was selling just outside of Belmapon, uh, maybe 10 minutes down the road from us. It was an acre of land uh, that was in the middle of nowhere, but it was still its proximity to Belmapon. It was selling for 75,000 American dollars is what they wanted for the acre. Um, you know, so once again, like I said, we have an acre here. That acre that was selling has no view, it's flat land, it's nothing. It's not even, you know, it doesn't even have mountains in the background that you can see. So we have an acre here, so you can kind of figure it out, you know, views, location, kind of what we stumbled into here, which we're excited and elated about. You know, we are not rich. We didn't come over here rich. You know, a lot of people have the misconception because we're over here in Belize that, you know, everything is gravy and everything is fun, you know, and it's, uh, you know, retirement lifestyle and everything. Uh, we get up every day at 5 a.m. It's work. Some days are good. Some days are hard. Some days are hot. Some days are extremely hot. You know, some days, as soon as you walk outside, you sweat. Some days you don't. But, you know, our lifestyle here is isn't what somebody might put a label on as, oh, you live in Belize, it must be great. It's not great all the time. We chose to come here because of the prices of things. Strictly, that's it. We came to Belize because we wanted to get in again at lower prices, and we have, which is great for us because, you know, both of us, me and my wife, were just turning 50. So, we're still young. Uh, we don't plan on retiring here. We plan on doing something here. But take a look at this video. Um, you know, really pay attention to the building. And I'm going to describe as it's going. I'm going to describe what each building is and what that means for the area. But yes, from my experience here, my advice is that if you're looking to invest in land in Belize, the investments are not on the water anymore. They're inland. And you have to pick the right area and you have to do your research. But the properties that are inland that are 
close to utilities, close to grocery stores, close to a bank, close to schools, those type of properties are the one where the value is steadily going up. So I'm not um, a financial guru. I'm nobody to take financial advice from. I'm somebody who's strictly giving you information that I have witnessed myself that is actually happening to me. So once again, I'm going to tell you the quarter acres that I bought a little over a year ago have doubled in price. They have doubled in price. And some people are saying by the end of next year, they're going to be worth three to four times what I paid for them last year. So if you're looking to invest, look inland. Don't look on the coast. From what I've seen, from what I've been told, from the chatter that's going around Belize, you need to start looking inland and it needs to be in an area that is up and coming and that is developing. So um, check out this clip and at the end of the video, um, you know, if there's any comments, any questions that you have, uh, you know, like I said, just go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I love bringing you guys these videos and stuff. The more people that subscribe, uh, the more motivation it gives me to get out here every day and put some real information out there for you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget, subscribe, like, share the video, watch this clip. This is the construction that is going on in the capital city of Belmopon right here. And keep in mind, these were not here when we got here in 2022. This is all new construction in the last year. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, invest wisely. All right, so this was one of the first buildings that was still under construction when we got here. You can see it's a four story. Uh, it's a business office complex slash call center, uh, but you can see the size of it. This is on uh, one of the main roads in downtown Belmopon, but you can see this was one of the first construction projects that was up and running is this one right here. Now on this one right here, this is a gas station that's just down the road from that previous office building that I just showed you. They put brand new tanks in the ground um, and they're refitting this one as well. So this right here is one of the two main hardware stores that's inside of Belmopon. When we first got here, it was just this one building that you're looking at right now. Uh, Belmopon Aggregates and Hardware is the name of this hardware store. Uh, over the last three months, if I turn the corner here, you can see right back here, they are getting ready to expand. They've been working on this for about four months now. Uh, this is another really big project that's underway. But like I said, this is for a hardware store now. So keep in mind, uh, you know, this is for other people that are going to be building. But you can see the sheer size of this addition that they're adding to this hardware store. It's, uh, this thing is going to be massive. It's going to be comparison with uh, Lowe's and Home Depot. Uh, this one right here is another business center. Um, Oh, excuse me, this is actually uh, the new Atlantic Bank that they're building. This is a bank. This is the biggest bank that is going to be in Belize. This is also inside of Belmopon. You can see the sheer size of this bank. Two stories, huge bay windows everywhere. Um, it has guard shacks on uh, both the entrance and the exit. It's also has drive-throughs. Um, this is probably going to be opening up pretty soon, but this is the bank. This is going to be the new Atlanta bank. And like I said, you can see the sheer size of this. So this one right here is another office complex. It's right behind one of the newer Shell gas stations, actually. But you can see two-story, lots of offices, beautiful architecture. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of business places in this when they start renting this out. So this right here is the new insurance 
company building right there and white that had the red and then this one here is right next to us you got a brand new insurance building and this is right by the Belmont Market but you can see this is another three-story building they already got a four rent sign in there this is another one that's going to be massive and like I said this is all happening within the last year all of this construction is within the last year and here's yet another one that's right down the road from the previous one this is another office building complex um, this is a this is another big one three stories uh, massive 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 complex here that uh, is supposed to be done by the end of this year most of these are supposed to be done by the end of this year so um, this is kind of giving you an idea of how much is going on here this is another one they're doing in addition to a school which you normally don't see that but they're even adding to the schools right now inside of Belmont they were even showing off uh, their EMS service Here we go, yet another one, a uh, call center slash office building. This one actually just opened up about three months ago, another big one. Just look at the size of this. And like I said, this is all within the last year. All of this is within the last year. That's why I'm saying you need to get in now because prices are getting ready to go very, very high. So on this one, this is a foundation that they're doing right now, but you can kind of see the size of it. So yeah, guys, just wanted to kind of give you an insight of all the construction that's going on in here. Like I said, in the capital city of Belmopalm, prices on land are starting to go up. But, you know, this kind of reminds me when I was back in the States, just south of Atlanta, when they started building like this, uh, houses and land started going through the roof. And... You know, anybody who's been to Belize that knows Belmopon knows that this kind of construction that I'm showing you right now, this is a big, big, big deal for this country. Big deal. This is showing that there's a lot of influx in money. There's a lot of people that are going to start coming here. There's going to be a lot of opportunity here. So, like I said, you know, if you're looking to get in, now is going to be the time to get in. There's a lot of people that are breaking land. There's a lot of owner finance land. There's a lot of quarter acres, acres for sale right now. So my advice to you, like I said, is to get in now. The land that I purchased a year ago has now doubled in price. And anything on the outskirts of Belmont, in my honest opinion, is going to go through the roof in the next five years. It's going to be a sight to see. So hope you enjoyed this video.